Welcome to the bracket episode 120. Today we are debating what you would be the most, let's say the most embarrassed to be caught buying. Something that what purchase is the most embarrassing to be caught uh, completing. Uh, we have a crew here. We got Robbie Fox. We got Pat joining in as guests. Two guys who I think, I would assume you've been more bought more in, embarrassing things than Robbie has over your lifetime. Mm, probably, yeah. This was like tough for me to come up with like actual non-sex item mm-hmm. embarrassing things. So I don't know. We'll yeah. see. We'll get, yeah, we'll, it also depends on what you would call embarrassing. I feel like I've been bought a lot of collectibles, a lot toys, of nerdy stuff. Yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Good point. Uh, before we get into that, though, let's talk about Body Armor. You can see Body Armor Zero Sugar right in front of us. This episode is brought to you by Body Armor Zero Sugar. The brand new Zero Sugar sports drinks from our friend over at Body Armor, our friends over at Body Armor, provides real hydration with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or dyes. Whether or not you're looking to stay hydrated or recovering from a long weekend, Body Armor Zero Sugar helps keep you uh, covered with great tasting flavors like fruit punch and lemon lime. I keep saying it every time we do these Body Armor ads. Don't like lemon lime. This lemon lime is amazing. I don't understand on a palate level how that works but it works uh body armor zero sugar is available in stores nationwide head on over to body the body armor store on uh amazon and get yours today we're all we got body armor all of us you guys nick nick and uh che both drinking right now body as well armor here too. body armor right here uh glenny has been hoarding it yep. in our office yeah, yeah. squirreling yeah. great drought of new york city oh guarding yeah <laughs> can you explain like what his his hoarding excuse was earlier Tommy? that he was gonna drink them. he's yeah he, i said glenny oh uh, we have no water in the office i've been looking for water for days i see him with four of these massive cannon sized body armors on his desk i'm like oh that's where all the water is he's like so oh, stop i'm gonna drink it yeah that's so, the issue you're drinking all the water yeah he's, it doesn't matter that he's hoarding it's just that he's gonna drink it so it doesn't matter it's he's all trying okay. to drink eight a day yeah that's those are a leader yeah. <laughs> it's so much water. It's crazy to even think you could do that. Uh, all right. So first matchup of the day, number five seed versus the 12 seed. Five seed is, we'll say, girly drinks. So the initial, mm. uh, we had two different submissions. One was Starbucks. One was alcoholic. So we'll say whichever way you want to go or both. And that's going up against the number 12 seed Pokemon cards was the next one up. Uh, interesting to see who submitted that. Uh, let's start with you, Pat. Which one of these things are you, would you be more embarrassed to purchase? I'd be embarrassed to be caught uh, purchasing Pokemon cards. <laughs> Sorry, Robbie. No, I'm not a Pokemon guy. You're actually, Nick, no, is. Nick <laughs> is the number one Pokemon guy here. I love Pokemon. Wow, yeah. that that was oh. racist, Pat. Yeah. Oh, I, should, said, <laughs> I was gonna say sorry, Che, but I know he's more of a Yu. He's more of a Yu Gi Oh guy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think like once you're over the age of like 21 or two, like it's kind of funny to buy a girly drink. So, yeah, I mean, it's got to be Pokemon cards for sure. That's a so, child's toy. So, like, um, if your crush caught you buying a very girly, like, I don't know what I don't know what it would be in your world, to be honest. I don't know what. I don't know. A Dak. Every would it drink be a Miller White? Cosmo. Every, yeah. Malibu Cosmo. Bay Breeze. Every yeah. drink I drink oh, is a gay drink, technically. Yeah. technically speaking. Uh, so, one for the Pokemon cards. Yeah, yeah. Tommy? Yeah, I strictly drink girly drinks. I've talked about this before. I feel no shame when I order it. Um, they <laughs> taste better. Uh, I don't want to get a stomach ache. Um, from like beer and stuff. So yeah, girly drink. I, I do it without shame. I understand why uh, beta males who, who think that, oh no, I can't, I have to drink a beer. I have to drink a dark beer. It's like, you're just not comfortable in your own skin, bub. Uh, <laughs> Pokemon, I mean, yeah, you know, teach their own, but I would, I, I think that would raise more eyebrows. So like, I try to think about it this way too. So like if your crush caught you buying, which one of these items would you be, you'd be less Easily. embarrassed? Oh, way more embarrassed by my Pokemon. Crush catching me. Are <laughs> 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 we in sixth grade? Yeah, a girl oh, you like. fuck, there's my crush. Or somebody, <laughs> someone, fine, somebody you're trying to impress. Like if, I'm on a, if I'm on a date with a girl, I'm I'm only getting girly drinks anyway. So okay. I'm not ordering co- Pokemon cards at the What's park. the girliest drink you got on a date? I mean, anything. I literally look at the menu, and I just look for the pinkest one. You're a big Malibu Bay Breeze guy? The biggest. Yeah. The biggest I thing. love those as well. They're the best wedding drink. So and good. And you get the straw that's yeah. the bachelorette party veiny oh, cock. Yes. <laughs> give me the veiny one. Give me the umbrella yeah. off I to brought the one side. from home. Don't worry. Yeah. I love those, but I will say, and I've never been a Pokemon guy. Never in my life have I been into Pokemon. I know it's shocking based on my look. I think I'd be more embarrassed with the the girly drinks because, like you, I exclusively drink girly drinks. Sometimes I'll say to a bartender, just give me the girliest thing on the menu. I've done that before, too. But there is like a 10% of me that's kind of like, ah, this is lame. This is but if really you make a joke thing. out of it, like guys like us, I think it's fine. 
I don't know. I feel like we are the joke in that situation. <laughs> yeah, fair. Time. So I'm going to go with girly drink. I don't think there is a scenario where, unless the cashier is a uh, 10 out of 10 Victoria's Secret model, mm. where I'm going to be embarrassed buying Pokemon cards. I feel like people look at me and they go, yeah, that's what we expect out of you. Conor McGregor's <laughs> behind you in line at the Target or whatever. And he sees you buying it. You wouldn't be giving care? I'd be like, these are for your kids, dude. No, oh, okay. You know? That's your boy. Nick? Um, I don't like the accessories that come with girly drinks. Like, I'm not going to hide the fact that I like Pokemon from somebody. Uh, I don't want to like have to take out an umbrella or like uh, a skewer with like a bunch of fruits. Oh in my, drink my god! When they're really, really. <laughs> bad. Uh, I I don't know even how to like the cups that are real long. Just uh, I, I'm gonna go girly drinks. Two to two right now, KB. Yeah, I'm a girly drink orderer. But I I would be lying if I said I don't feel shame every time I do it. There is a little bit of shame I feel. Um, not enough to stop me from buying it, but you know, I've been shamed and emasculated by bartenders for my order and that doesn't feel good. And there's nothing I can do to the bartender. He just has to, to shame me Mm -hmm. and I have to take that. So you're going to go with the girly drinks? Yeah. You ever get shamed by a woman bartender for your girly drink order? That's the real word. That's like, but they're 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 flirting. flirting. They're flirting. Yeah. 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 Uh, Che? Uh, I, I don't care about girly drinks at all. As an Asian person, I think I'm expected to buy Pokemon cards, but I don't want to perpetuate that stereotype, mm-hmm. so I would be more embarrassed yeah. to fall into that stereotype, right. so I do not want to buy po- I would be more embarrassed buying Pokemon cards. It's a very progressive answer. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we're tied up. I, I think if I were to say between these two, like if there was somebody I was trying to impress, I'd be way, I'd be more embarrassed and again, you can't like talk your in in the scenarios. I think we can't talk your way out of it. It's like you can't be like, oh, the Pokemon cards aren't for me, or something like that. Like right. they know it's for you. I think it would be Pokemon cards, uh, like just being known as an adult Pokemon co- card collector, not a Pokemon Go collector like Nick. Totally different thing. Are you right? still playing Go, Nick? I'm off it. Oh, oh. Uh, Chicago's not the best Go city in the world. Do you have like your one month chip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I've been off it. It's uh, I haven't even been tempted. So I'm going to go with the Pokemon uh, to move on. Uh, next matchup is number four seed versus the 13 seed. The four seed is laxatives. You cash out. Uh, somebody, again, somebody catches you with laxatives. <laughs> oh. That's a rough one. They know you, you got to poop. Uh, and that's going up against number 13 seed. Somebody submitted this on Twitter. And I just thought it was funny. An umbrella when it's raining. <laughs> it's just, I, oh, it's <laughs> I almost put that on the list. It's very funny. Yeah. It, made me, it made me laugh when I saw it. Uh, so Stephen Che, an umbrella when it's raining or laxatives? Laxatives are the ones that make you poop, not the ones yeah. that like. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't be in, like. Shit happens. Like you gotta. Or doesn't. I, I, yeah. I, I'm not like I'm not like, <laughs> skeeved out by people buying stuff at CVS. Like if you're at CVS, you're buying stuff you're probably not comfortable posting about. So, um, Louis, Louis C.K. once said, "You got to go somewhere to get your wart bandaid." So, uh. I'm gonna go with. You said a lot of things. Umbrella, umbrella. When it's his right. greatest joke. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that. Yeah. The classic Lucy Kay Wart bandage riff. <laughs> uh, uh, so Chase going with the umbrella, KB. Um, yeah, umbrella. That's a good. That's a good submission. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm no, I'm a no umbrella guy. So when it's raining so much, that it's almost like you're forfeiting. You're forfeiting to your values, and it's usually a like a Walgreens, so you're a, come across as like poor, I guess. Mm-hmm. In, the, <laughs> in the city, it's usually those guys standing right outside every transportation yep. hub. It's going umbrella, umbrella. Yeah. That, I and think that's less embarrassing. Umbrellas. Those mm-hmm. are less embarrassing. It's like, all right, I this disagree. guy just needs an umbrella out of necessity. It's like, I oh, I'm going to go to Dwayne Reed and get an umbrella. It's more embarrassing because no matter how cheap the umbrella price is, I think I'm getting ripped off because it's raining. I think these they, they know I'm a sucker. They know I need it right Fair. now. Yeah. And the umbrellas are also going to break in 30 seconds. Yes, yeah. correct. Uh, the so, most embarrassing part of that entire transaction is like 30 seconds after you get the umbrella. And if, I mean, if they're selling umbrellas outside, generally it's raining pretty bad when the umbrella turns inside. It, and it oh, does every time. No. <laughs> every yeah. time. Opening it up. Like, in the, the Velcro and then it just yeah. goes inside out. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting lift off by an umbrella yeah. is tough. Uh, Nick, we're two for umbrella right now. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's feminine to be dry 
uh, but it's the rain and you're, you're going somewhere, especially in like New York, right? You've got to walk. Um, and then it's tough to like navigate the streets and then you don't know what to do with it when you like get inside of the building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, holding one is just, yeah, that's the worst. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go umbrella big time. Three for umbrella, Robbie Fox. Pretty easy umbrella one. I'm okay with people knowing I shit. I'm not okay with people knowing I use an umbrella. <laughs> Laxatives is you not shitting. Yeah, that's a. You, yeah, I guess yeah, that's that, that I'm trying yeah. to shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tommy. Yeah, easy umbrella. I thought about it. I wish I put it on, but yeah, I think it. Um, it. Uh, I, I. My life has been a never-ending cycle of buying umbrellas. I have awful <laughs> luck with umbrellas. I lose them or they break. If I get a good one, I lose it. A bad one, they break. I actually just mm-hmm. bought an umbrella on Sunday. It was it was it was sunny out, but I saw an umbrella at the grocery store, and I said, "I'm going to get ahead of." You didn't want to get burnt. <laughs> <laughs> you Michael Jackson. Reverse. Yeah, uh, yeah, umbrella. Especially like yeah, if you're literally wet at the cashier, and you're like, "Can I have this umbrella?" Oh, oh yeah, you're right about that. Uh, another one for an umbrella that's going to win, but Pat, Dude, I think you guys are all wrong. It's the laxatives, because even if you're at a CVS and it's like, "All right, this is this person's job," they see that people buy embarrassing shit all the time. It's poop. Like that's gross. You're, mm. You you can't shit. You're putting laxatives up. Rain is unavoidable. But they poop. You know the cashier. Yeah. Unless it's I Kim know. Jong Un. It's just like they poop. I feel like it's it's more. It pisses me off more than it embarrasses me when I have to buy an umbrella. I'm like mm. God fucking damn it. It's raining out. It pisses me off. Like I don't get angry if I have to buy laxatives. I, I agree in that. Like if I was at the Walgreens, that's that's like underneath her office, and like someone from like the third floor just caught me at the on the line with laxatives in my hand, I would be tetrified yeah like because they just know that i'm having i'm having poop problems right and i don't like that at all so i, I agree with you there but umbrella is going to move on next matchup is the eight versus the nine seed the eight seed is and i combine both of these plan b slash pregnancy tests so being caught with that i think more specifically i think as a guy as a girl i don't think anyone cares but that's going up against the number nine seed buying any xyz for dummies book so, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> funny. oh my god! Yeah, they should have just got. They made those books leather bound. So yeah, like instead of just like construction orange, bright <laughs> yellow. Uh, yeah. So a for dummies book versus pregnancy stuff, Pat. Um. Well, I've neither. I've never experienced either, so I don't really know. Pregnancy <laughs> book or dummies? Probably dummies, right? If you have to. Pregnancy is like, I mean, it's embarrassing in the eyes of the Lord. It's it's embarrassing in the eyes of the Lord, for sure. But no, it's got to be the dummies book. One for the dummies book, Tommy? It's hard. I think plan B is significantly worse than a pregnancy test. Because pregnancy tests, at least, like, oh, you know, they're trying. Yeah, true. Yeah, they're married. Plan B, it's like, uh uh-oh. You're (laughs) you're terminating the fetus. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. Plan B is bad, but the four, I mean, at least plan B, it's like, oh, this guy fucked. This guy's dumping loads. That's yeah, what I'm thinking. He's dumping like, you're loads. You're buying pregnancy tests. It's like, here's proof of cum shot. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it is, P- it is, that is yeah. yeah, it's POC for sure. Um, POC? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not POC. <laughs> it's POC. <laughs> proof of cum. Uh, so I think the four, like going to a bookstore and be like, yeah, this is going to the one. Like four dummy, call, just yeah. blatantly calling well, yourself a dummy. If you're going somewhere where smart people are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to go with the four dummies book. Four dummies book. I think you right. got to go four dummies. I don't know what the most embarrassing four dummies book to buy would be. But I think it's four dummies. Reading for dummies. <laughs> Reading for dummies. <laughs> it's just all pictures. Yeah. Like, well, they got like, the mascot on the front. Yeah. It looked like the like, Descendants how many guy. Four dummies they are. They have to have so many now. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they have hundreds, if not thousands. People still Everything. buy those with the I internet? See them. Yeah. yeah. All for like dummies. Those. Wait. <laughs> This one's autism for dummies. Whoa, no. oh. <laughs> the book just can't, can't publish that. The book. That's the book. Um, snagged. Oh Get my that God. golf one for Trent. Yeah, Trent could use both, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> awesome uh, for dummies. So three for the dummies. Uh, Nick? Just bought it. Even, I love that like dummies is just in a different font, too. It's yeah. like crayon font. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, At least let them be dignified when oh, buying this book. Like have it. <laughs> I think like a I fake think cover. if we're being specific, the most embarrassing thing to buy is the autism for dummies. Yeah, book. yeah. <laughs> is that is it like how to like deal with somebody with no, autism? Yeah, yeah, better. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just a book Basketball that doesn't that dummies. doesn't make eye contact with you. Yeah. <laughs> All for dummies is that's the most embarrassing purchase. <laughs> oh, learning basketball from a that book. book. From a <laughs> and like you finish and you're really fucking good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the most embarrassing thing in the world to buy. Like basketball for dummies. 
movies. <laughs> yeah, is it telling you the history of basketball? It's got to be like rules the rules of basketball. And shit. You learn rules and regulations. That's so embarrassing. Players, roles, positions, and more, and to appreciate the game and all it has to offer. That's Dude. something Clemmer would write about By baseball. Digger Phelps. <laughs> Dig- oh, Digger. I know Digger yeah. Phelps. I want to find. There has to be maybe even something. Is this- your mic off? Yeah. Yeah. You plug unplugged. It, you unplugged. Uh, at the at the at the so, yeah. Parrot. So get this guy a dummies? mics for dummies book. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's just big. It's this giant font. They've got. A, you think they have a podcasting for dummies? Dude, Koi, have oh, Koi they pond for dummies. There's this is ridiculous. Schizophrenia have- for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. These are these are insane. Who's the author Wrestling on these? for dummies, Kyle? Ooh, it's kind of cool. Code code like coding makes sense, up. but like koi ponds mm. for dummies that requires a whole book. Yeah, he used <laughs> <laughs> ponds, I think they're hard. Koi ponds for dummies. I think they're hard to maintain. Battle for dummies, dude. They have like they... dementia for dummies. That's crazy. Ghost oh. for dummies by Zach Baggins. That one you could read Baggins. over and over. That again. one's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Good one, Fox. Good one, good one Fox. <laughs> Stroke for dummies. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not sex. It's the actual yeah. thing that happens. But oh. the Koran for dummies. Oh, these, are, adulting for dumb- these are so awesome, man. We should collect them on Frayness. Yeah. We should have just an yeah. entire bookshelf. <laughs> like of, people collect books. like encyclopedias by letter. You we guys have every yeah. four dummies. Every dummies. Uh, for those listening, please send them into the Chicago office. We will put them, we will get a bookshelf. I want every four dummies. <laughs> every four I'm the number one collector of four dummies. These Dude, rock. Homeschooling Fortnite du- for dummies. Ham. Uh, yeah, going for this. Fermenting Judaism for dummies. Jeez, this is crazy. Uh, KB. Oh my God, this making millions for dummies. <laughs> That's the most embarrassing thing in the world. Those books, yeah. yeah. It's like great play book. the lottery every day. Yeah. Yep. Uh, che. <laughs> why, why would anyone be embarrassed buying a plan? You think it's like you just had unprotected sex and people are going to find out about at least the cashier will because it's murder che <laughs> you didn't think about that one did you yeah uh so I mean. <laughs> yeah i got you there uh so the xyz for dumb or the four dummies books are going to move on next up you have the one seed versus the 16 seed chain game let's do the chain game first um co- tommy submitted cold and flu medication because it makes people afraid that you're sick yeah, I think every time I buy cold and flu, if I'm sick, they're like, oh, this guy's sick. Great. Yeah. Uh, Viagra, you also put? Never bought it, but I'd imagine it's embarrassing. Oh, I just submitted it. That's yeah. prescribed, is it yeah. not? Yeah, yeah I think it is. You have to get it from the counter. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't even Go know. to forhims.com, code out. Also if that. If you have any ED problems. Uh, duct tape. Well, uh, it's just, you know, like, is he, kid- cr- is he, kid- creepy, is he kidnapping someone? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, cucumber. Yeah, yeah, it's very cucumber. That's, you shouldn't be buying it. Imagine leaving the store with one cucumber. With a lone cucumber, a little hummus or ranch. Yeah. One cucumber. Is <laughs> one cucumber is very embarrassing. Yeah, we had a cucumber scandal in my high school. A girl took a picture with the cucumber halfway inside her. Oh, I think oh my head too. Half. Yeah. Halfway. Yeah, halfway. Yeah, halfway. Jesus Christ. Condom uh, on the cucumber, too. Did you she, see she the photo? She was in pain and hated it, right? Yeah, I would assume. <laughs> uh, toilet cleaner brush. So you're talking about like the yeah, like the br- the the brush that you use to clean out the inside. Yeah. Why would of the that toilet? be embarrassing? I don't know. It's like oh, this guy's got shit in this. No, that's, that's, that's like this guy moved yeah. into a new apartment. It's a messy pooper. Yeah. That's very embarrassing. Uh, I only buy those on Amazon. Lice medicate lice stuff in general. Lice stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is that. Yeah. This guy's got lice. Yeah. yeah. You can't have lice past the age of like eleven. No. Yeah. I think ever. Pink yeah, slip for your you workplace. Uh, yeah, you can't have lice. If you have lice forever, I'll tell you what. I did. I did love lice checks. Getting oh, getting lice I, checked? Did, did we we didn't get lice checked. No, so we got a little my popsicle stick in your head. Oh my god, it yeah. literally felt amazing. I didn't like it. It always hurt yeah. for me. Mm. Though it oh no, it, was it like felt so good. Oh. Forget who it was. Mm. They were like checking to make sure that you had lice in West Virginia. You had to, to <laughs> yeah, yeah, to attend. Uh, NFTs was also on there. That's hilarious. I don't know how you get caught with that. Yeah, you that, can't yeah. get caught by one of these. You could, I mean, someone looks over your shoulder. I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Clemmer submitted this one, and he's 100% right. Uh, a ticket for one to a kid's movie. So as an oh. adult. Oh. <laughs> which oh. he, that's exactly where his no, mind that's, went. That's the worst, yeah. He, he had to do that when he was doing that, um, his, like, watching movie, movie series. Yeah. And I've had to do it multiple times just throughout yep. LCB reviewing movies. And it is very weird feeling and mm-hmm. very embarrassing. Uh, so, again, cold flu medication, Viagra, duct tape, cucumber, toilet cleaner brush, 
lice comb NFTs or a ticket for one to a kid's movie. Uh, start with can you, Shay. I, wait, can, can I, I add can one? I, I, you can I both add one. add one last minute. Pat, you can go first. Oh, I was going to say, because it reminded me of Clemmer, improv classes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Purchasing yeah. improv classes? Yeah. Okay. Wait, Nick, what did we catch Fasoli buying on his phone? Uh, it was when Dave was doing like a talking about a hit piece video. Fasoli was like watching it in tears. <laughs> And he was buying like a really expensive bar stool hoodie in the airport. <laughs> He's the yeah. fucking best dude. Uh, Jay, what was yours? So this actually happened to me this past weekend. Uh, I went to Target with my wife and my kids, and we were buying like Easter candy. And uh, the idea is we I would put it in the cart, and we'd like check out separately. But my wife had just bought, and there was like this new clothing line that launched at Target from like this designer she liked. So there were these clothes that were very obviously women's clothes. <laughs> and so she was going to take the kids to the car, and I was going to check out with the Easter candy. But then I'm checking out by myself with a cashier and a bunch of people behind me, and it's just all these women's clothes. <laughs> and by myself, it was humiliating. Uh, so uh, I would like to submit buying women's clothes. Buying women's clothes. You can edit on. Uh, do you want to make that your vote for the chain? Uh, no. Um, the kids movie ticket sounds uh, very uncomfortable. One for the kids movie ticket, KB? It's, I think it might be Viagra from like a cashier, like asking for Viagra. I, I don't think you can Viagra. do that. I think it's prescribed. Yeah, I don't think you it can is prescribed. go to, yeah. You still get it from the... And yeah, they know. The pharmacist knows. Pharmacist knows for sure. Oh, yeah. I think that would give me the most shame out of all of these options. That's fair. So, yeah. Nick? That still kind of shows that you're fucking. Mm. I thought no, the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It means you want a rock Soft, hard cock. Yes. Right, but you're, but you're at least in the position to fuck. Yeah. If you're worried about it. I would rather be caught. If you were caught not being able to get hard, that means you're about to fuck. Dude, but that's true. worse than not fucking at all. That's wrong. Do people use that for masturbation? No. Wait, that's a <laughs> no, good I question. Don't think so. Do, that would that, be hilarious. You'd have to be addicted to masturbation to do that. You only masturbate when you're horny, if like when you get hard, right? You don't do it. Just I don't think to it's do. a lack of horniness that I'll is masturbate ED, right? sometimes oh, yeah. from from flat. Like I'll get myself ramped. Wait, up. you guys only jerk off if you're hard. No, not me. What do you mean? <laughs> you don't like wait. You don't like. <laughs> you're not horny, like. It's not like you get like a random boner and then you jerk off. No, I'll 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 go from start to I'll take it from zero to hundred. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I thought analyzed it in the past. <laughs> I was yeah. like I was like wait. Yeah, a I'll second. start just I'm just flicking it around a little <laughs> bit. Get get the engine going. But I mean, the ED thing is not like a lack of horniness. It's just a lack of ability to get hard, right? And so also, they, yeah, like, I guess you're right. So, do they need to use it to, to jerk off? So, people do, just wait. Take so, are they horny? Too. Yeah. Are they horny, but they can't get hard? I think that's. It. I think it's anx oh, like anxiety. as hell. Like, a guys will have think. ED, and it's like ang if they'll be like anxious to fuck, then they'll take. I don't think you take ED. You don't take Viagra to jerk off. I think you just don't jerk off, right? I also oh, think you guys don't, jerk off. don't guys like you just don't jerk off for like a year. Then you don't jerk off for a year. But don't they have to? Robbie? No, you'll come. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. you'll have a wet dream. Like, I proved that for sure. Oh, oh, okay, I get you. Yeah, yeah. but I also I have I heard of, like, young guys taking Viagra just to be like, yeah, I want to, like, stay hard all night. Stay hard longer? Right. Okay. So, like, I feel like awful. that's, like, in that... That's not like a, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, but you have to tell the cashier that if say, like I'm fucking just, all night. Yeah, I'm fucking all night. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a marathon tonight. Yeah. So, all right. So one for the movie ticket, one for Viagra. Nick, I'm gonna write in uh, anything from Cold Stone Creamery. <laughs> sing uh, I have a gotta have. I want to get a gotta have cookie. Don't you want some? And then they fucking sing <laughs> to me. Sing to you when you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nightmare start to finish. God yeah. damn it, uh, Robbie. I like the movie ticket. I like the one single movie ticket to a kid's movie. If mm. I would have submitted a uh, Cheyenne for this one, I, a couple years ago, did a Halloween podcast where me and my brother were kiss face paint, and I mm. ordered black and white face paint on Amazon. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The white showed up, so I had to go to the store and just buy black face paint. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to yeah. Party City. I grabbed the black. I went to put it on the counter. And I was like, I can't do this. So I bought an extra white just so the cashier knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, this ain't just blackface, I promise. It's <laughs> Two for the movie ticket, Tommy. Um, I guess, I mean, the thing is, I just, like, I can't ever imagine myself buying one ticket to a children's movie. But I guess if I had to, because I was 
going to go see a movie every day for yeah. a month before quitting, I would probably say this is embarrassing. Like some, like someone like Dave catches you buying a ticket for one to Inside Out 2. Like you would be mortified. I would yeah, imagine. I've done it. I, I yeah. snuck a whole General Sows into Coco once. It was amazing. Mm. <laughs> General Sows in the movie theater? In the movie theater, Che. Yeah. Wow. Back row. Excited about that one? Yeah, you really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. I don't, I don't know if I've ever taken. I I take food into the movie halls, but uh, food you need utensils for mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is uh, a whole thing. Was it one of those like reclined seats? Like you have a oh yeah, Kips thing? Bay okay. in the okay. city. Yeah, that's a garbage okay. theater too. Yeah, that's a garbage theater. Like no, theater. that's a nice. No, it's a garbage. That's a fun. No. One. That's, that's, that's a one fine you theater. You it's can get fine. away eating there. That's no problem. You can sneak anything yeah. you want in there. Uh, I've got nice seats, there. Pat. I think. Even though it would make me feel more weird than embarrassed, it's definitely a movie ticket. Mm. It's just like, ugh, what is this person doing? I'm buying I kind of want to go see a movie tonight. tonight. This is getting me in the mood. What, what movie is movie? Uh, I would see a movie. I don't know. I just saw Dude. Don't, don't watch Immaculate. That was what a bummer that was, the Sydney Sweeney one. Um, all right, so the movie ticket's going to come out of the chain game. Chest Why that? was it a bummer? No. I was wondering the no same No chest thing. and just kind no of a chest. shit no movie. No chest. No chest. <laughs> <laughs> just shit movie. Uh, so the more number one, uh, or the chain, uh, chain winner movie ticket's going to go up against the number one seed. We'll just say sex toys. There's like people submitted different ones, all sorts of different things involving like sex toy stuff. It could be sex dog, it could be like whatever, dildo, cock ring, whatever That's the fuck. Interesting though, because I feel like there's a huge spectrum of embarrassment in sex toys. That's why I feel like it was it was good to consolidate as a singular seed. There's definitely a spectrum, yeah. but I feel like there is like are we talking about the mo- what's the most embarrassing sex like a a, a real doll like one of those like <laughs> yeah. very embarrassing. I think if you're buying if you're buying a real doll of that looks like the cashier that you are. That's checking Very you out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> exactly, exactly that person. But like, what about like, and then it's like a cock ring. That's not as embarrassing. I would still be like embarrassed. Walking out it. of the fucking sex. You, you know. get caught buying a cock ring and that's still kind of embarrassing. I guess. Uh, Pat. Unless you're like Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, It's true. sex toys versus what? Uh, the one movie ticket to a kid's theater. Oh, or a kid's movie. It's sex toys. <laughs> sex yeah, toys? Definitely sex toys. What would be the worst one to get caught buying? Oh, what about the the guy Richie Madonna? Probably like get caught with your girl buying a strap on. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the yeah. Most I forgot about that. Yeah, that's probably well, it. Junie Cortez from Spy Kids got ta- caught buying a sex swing with Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer. That's right. <laughs> that's right. A sex swing. That's a tough one. Huh. I think. And I don't I'd imagine know how that you like swing. lows. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be triple that reinforced. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so one for the sex toys, Tommy. What about like buying sex toys and then you're like, yeah, I'm going to see Finding Nemo after this. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's right, the cashier. <laughs> um, I think the the one ticket to a move to a kid's movie is worth the sex. Eh. I mean, I'm trying to think. Literally, what would I rather? I'm trying to, what would I rather like a random stoolie see? Like see me Cashew walking Bunny? out. It's like, definitely the movie. It's got to be the movie. You'd rather them see that. Of course. A stoolie? Yeah. That you want them like starting a fucking Reddit thread saying Tommy bought a strap on? <laughs> Tommy I saw yeah. just yeah. right. this big Sex stuff, toys worse. And not <laughs> even close, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, sex toys about. worse. So another for sex I toys. I think sex toys is way worse, yeah. Way worse. Uh, Nick? Um. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it's sex toy. Mm-hmm. Also, just like... If you're gonna buy a sex toy at this point, you gotta order it online. There's yeah. no way you could walk you're into really a sex shop and be like, yeah. "There's so many sex toys around my apartment. So many sex toys apart uh, stores around <laughs> my <laughs> apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounding dildos, <laughs> just all littered. Uh, and it's like I saw this like old couple the other day, like walking by one and like cl- like look, be like, "What's this store?" And then like it, at one point, just says like adult sex toys. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it probably kept kept it moving. There was a sex store that got flooded right by my house during Hurricane Sandy and there were like pictures in the paper just purple dildos in the water everywhere. This is floated out? Yeah, it was really funny. (laughs) They had an oil spill of KY jelly. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Nick. Uh, Uh, Sex sex toys, sorry. Uh, KB. Yeah, it's sex toys. You know, I walked into a sex shop and I'm buying from a person whose career is sex shop worker and still felt tremendous shame buying like fucking Afro juice. What, is, what the fuck what is, is Afro that? juice? What's Afro juice, Kyle? It's, it's, uh, just, it's like a juice that it's like an aphrodisiac juice that oh, makes you. I guess, oh, yeah. Huh. Wait, what do you mean? You drink it? 
I tried it once. Yeah. <laughs> Did it make you want to fuck? No. Did it make no, you want to fuck you? Didn't feel a difference. <laughs> I thought it was like I thought <laughs> you meant taste bro. It was it was like a rape or <laughs> passion <Whoa>. fruit. <laughs> rape. <laughs> 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 I thought the whole time I thought you were talking about Afro like the hair. I was like, so what the I. fuck oh, is yeah, Afro? Yeah, I can just, understand uh, your confusion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sex Jay. toys. Jay. Definitely grape Afro juice. Yeah. <laughs> My vote. Grape. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, sex toys is gonna move on. So like, I'm, I'm not horny. I'm just thirsty. I swear. Yeah. I'm like, really <laughs> <laughs> complaining about the lack of flavors of Afro juice at the store. <laughs> oh, you don't have lemon lime. Yeah. Joey had his cleaning lady like when he moved like help him organize his house, and he God. left during the day to come to record. And uh, when he went back, she had organized all of his sex toys in the top drawer of his dresser. Oh my God! So like, organized by what? Like by size? <laughs> by like? <laughs> <laughs> but he had like dildos Size, and like ethnicity, poppers then, wow. and like all this stuff. But he wasn't embarrassed at all. I would have been more no, probably asked not. him to do it. I don't know if Joey's ever been embarrassed in his life no. yeah, based on meeting a guy. They were telling me, I didn't know what poppers were, but then I went to go like the, the main Chargers beat reporter's last name is Popper. So I went to go search his name to find something he had posted. And I just went through. Uh, that seems fishy. Uh, that is the uh, wow. It was. Uh, it was. The Chargers just beat a, reporter is how you yeah. found out. His name is Daniel Popper. Popper. And then I, I searched that and just, it was a stream you of buttholes. You poppers were. Oh, no, I didn't. You're depraved. I did, yeah, but that's like one of the few things I just did. I never ca- came across my radar yet. And it was it was a tough, tough day. I feel it's, like I've done them with you guys. Yeah, it's, it's uh, like yeah, smelling like white ash is roof. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It makes your smelling salts? No, it's a nail polish remover that widens the asshole. Or oh, yeah, but it I gives you... accidentally dr- or purposely drank you were doing it this? at Palmer yeah. Fest. Wait, you but drank? it's like, it gives you, like, it's like a smell. I would say it's a similar sensation to a smelling salt. Or it just makes mm, it relaxes you, you, I think. It smells really like a nail I, I don't feel, remover. I never felt anything in my asshole. Wait, you can't be... Did you guys feel, you <laughs> felt your assholes wide? You drank it? I think the aperture definitely... Got a little larger. Mm. I feel like I just got like a head high, like like as if Aperture. I did a it's similar it's as if like doing a smelling high. salt. Mm. But you, you said he drank it. I thought it was a sniff thing. I know they they were passing it around, and I at a bar, and I <laughs> took a sip, and they were like, "Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> our new king!" <laughs> KB's asshole swallowed the bar stool. It's like the Dune worm blood. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. Blood, the water of life. Yeah. <laughs> just. Uh, okay, before we get to the other half of the bracket, let's talk about Rocket Money. Uh, did you find any subscriptions that you forgot about or any that you paid twice and didn't realize it? Uh, I mentioned it every time we do Rocket Money, I found out I was paying like $18 to Microsoft basically once every month for like three years. Didn't know how to cancel, couldn't figure it out. Uh, Rocket Money helped me cancel it. Uh, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, you have full control over your subscriptions and a clear view of your expenses. You can see all of your subscriptions in one place, and if you see something you don't want, Rocket Money can help you cancel with just a few taps. It's great how the dashboard can show you all of your month's spending compared to last month so that you can clearly see spending habits. Plus, they'll help you create a custom budget and help keep your spending on track. Rocket Money can even help negotiate your bill uh, lower, to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money will take care of the rest. They have over 5 million users and have saved them over $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving subscribers up to, on an average of 740 bucks a year using the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash lights. That's rocketmoney.com slash lights. As your airdrop. I think I accidentally airdrop Kyle. You airdrop him poppers? No. Accidentally? I got nothing. Uh, Either half of the bracket, we have the number six seed versus the 11 seed. I think the six seed will apply differently depending on how you look. But uh, we'll just say a large quantity of unhealthy food. Uh, And I think when you're fat and you're buying unhealthy food, I'll tell you what, it's not a great feeling. When people can't, like, they just give you an eyeball if you're buying, like, a cheeseburger. And I'm just like, it's one of those days. Uh, And that's going up at number 11 seed. Uh, We'll say ironic t-shirts. Or, like, just say ugly. Hell no. <laughs> no, I feel like if you're doing that, you're at an ironic t-shirt store. That's what they expect yeah, you to buy. You're at Spencer's. Yeah. You're not yeah, thinking yeah, like you're whatever. at like a Walmart buying like a like a narrow toe ironic tee. I think they, okay they would know that. it's a joke. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's going up against the number again, number six seed, very unhealthy food in large quantities. Uh that's embarrassing. Yeah. And that's can we can we, can we specify that to be for solely seventy two dollars? Seventy two dollars. Seventy two dollars of Yeah. For, only ten items. For what do you order? Ten items. Honestly, you didn't I see Fasoli tweeting. It's, it's no. a it's a good deal what he got. 
Yeah. I didn't see this. <laughs> what did he get? He he ordered, he's like, look look at this. I spent, seven, they charged me $72. At Uber Eats, this is ridiculous. Yeah. It he was, was $72 with delivery and tip for 10 items from Taco Bell. 10 <laughs> items? Jesus, yeah, I said, that's Jesus right. Christ, Masoli. Bo- yeah. A borderline bargain. 10 yeah. items is, yeah. I'll, I, I'll get like three items and spend $25? Yeah. 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 Very regular deal. Uh, so we'll start out with you, Pat. Which one of these do you think is more embarrassing? Um, the large amount of shitty food. Mm-hmm. For sure. If you're not like, if you're okay being public about being a piece of shit, that's embarrassing. Yeah. And I don't want to like fast food shame, but there's something very white trash about like bragging about getting a ton of gross food so mm. yeah that's this is a greasy office too it. it's embarrassing because i think deep down inside too if you are ordering all that especially if you're a person of size there is uh just a level of embarrassment that the other one doesn't even come close to so yeah that's my pick unhealthy food yeah i mean it's obviously bad if you're fat i think it could be bad if you're skinny too like if you're if you just have a like a bunch of ice creams like it's like oh this guy's sad like this yep. guy's going through some shit mm-hmm. right now like why does he need all this like comfort junk food yeah. Um, so I'll go with the junk food. Junk food? I think junk food easily. Also, like, when you get delivery and, like, the delivery guy sees, like, oh, I'm just handing this to you. Clearly, you're home yeah. alone right now. <laughs> and it's two heavy bags. It's, like, pretty. Or when, they, when they'll put, like, eight fortune cookies in there and you're, like, it's just yeah, me, buddy. Yeah, from a group <laughs> <Yeah>. party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got hit once. I, I had a lot of... Ch- he only laughs at Chinese jokes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's like, relatable. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was at the supermarket oh, once, and I, I got a lot of cheese because it was on sale, and the guy said, are you having a party? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm having a cheese party. <laughs> yeah. Cheese testing, yeah. For real bad. Uh, Nick? Yeah, like in New York, I had a doorman, and I was just ashamed to like go down and get a McDonald's bag when you have the most, you have unlimited food options twenty four seven in New York, and you choose McDonald's. Um, even like you said, like your fridge having just just junk food, non things that will never expire. Uh, yeah, I'm going with that. Unhealthy foods, KB. I think, I think thinner people have leeway because they assume you're stoned or something. Yep. Um, but fatzos have a raw end of the deal. Mm-hmm. Gaby? <laughs> Big fat fucks. Being Big fat and ordering for. fast food is tough. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's when you do a contactless delivery. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> leave, leave it at my door. Leave it there and take the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Like the whale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gaby? What, what is the food taking on? Uh, the ironic t shirt, but it's already one, but. Yeah. Um, I guess I, I think if you're f- me right now, I don't, I don't really feel too much shame getting a big order, but. If you were, if I was fat as fuck, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> I guess it's like being short and having to buy size eight shoes, <laughs> which sucks. Um, I'm gonna go with the t-shirts. That's a lot of confidence to be like, yeah, it's not embarrassing to get a bunch of junk food. They, they know I'm gonna burn this shit off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> who are you? Who are you ordering it from? Like. A, I was in my head. I was imagining who, is, like, who are you afraid of? I was imagining like, like you're ashamed? leaving CVS with like pints of ice cream yeah. and yeah. potato chips. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was thinking uh, like a you, huge order of like. Yeah, fast I mean, either food. works. Yeah, or you're you're going to pick up like a ship, huge order of fast food and they they catch you there. You know what I mean? It could be any either. There's any also like a mutual understanding if you go to a fast food restaurant and you're ordering like the person there knows. Like, right. All right. Yeah. You're in it. We're in this together. I've given yep. it to you. Yep. They're the enabler. <laughs> it's like your dealer. Yeah. Jay. The food for sure. The food for it's sure. It's making me hungry too. I'm making me I, want I food. literally all I'm thinking about is what I want to order for yeah. tonight. Do you guys know McDonald's is adding Krispy Kreme I read donuts that. to their menu? Oh my God. Jesus. It's going to be oh. unbelievable. Uh, Shamrock Shake out this month. That's right, yeah. Uh, number Shamrock three shake. seed versus the 14 seed. The three seed is the plunger, which I've caught, I've <laughs> seen that happen in real time. It is very funny to see it in, in real, uh, happen in real time. And that's going up against a very specific thing, and I'm going to send you guys a couple pictures for this one. Uh, let's say horny video games or erotic video games <laughs> because that is a thing. It's very real, uh, and people, yeah, people buy them. That's going to win. That's – and I was sending – uh, what was the volleyball one? Chainsaw Dead, Dead or Alive. Alive. Beach Volleyball. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. There's horny video games? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. know, like, Grand Theft Auto has, like, no, sexy that's, characters, that's, but they, I didn't They've know. had the titty what? physics down for so long. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, what do you... But now they've become... Nah, yeah, no, is it, like, phone. porn? 
Oh uh, my god. <laughs> yeah, so you, Oh my. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Dead is or alive. This? The that's Japanese the one. specifically they oh, will. Ken Jack, how many of these do you own? Yeah. <laughs> only only ever own Dead or Alive out what of the What is Larry game. Wet Dreams Don't Dry? Oh, uh, that's Leisure Shoot Larry. <laughs> That's a, that was actually one of the more famous Western ones, I think. <laughs> that I've never heard we of. Wannabe creators. Leisure suit Larry. Yeah. Mag- Magnum Kung. <laughs> Leisure suit Larry is a more famous one, but there are a lot of very horny video games. I think the Japanese are way more into it. Uh, just erotic games in general. There's like dating simulators, like shit like that. A lot of them. And yeah, I think buying one of those really embarrassing. That's would be pathetic. Brutal yeah. to What's buy. it against really again? Uh, pl- it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Plunger. This Plunger is what they went up against. Like someone knows you got a, a backed up toilet. Che, which one of these do you think is more embarrassing to buy? So how do you play these games? With your <laughs> You're very now. interested early. <laughs> one hand. <Yeah. laughs> is, it, is it like The Sims and you're just walking around and you're just like, bang? I don't know. I said like 15 different games. I think they all operate differently. Um, but uh, some of them, I think there are games that are more explicit, like you fuck in them. But there are other one, most of these ones I think are dating ones, like the Japanese ones. One is literally just volleyball, right? Yeah, the, the dead or alive is just volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but what you, why is it horny? Because the girls are playing with big Our boobs. Butt naked it, and like the it. boob physics yeah. is Do like, they, like super bounce intense. The boobs? Oh, yeah. I would assume, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. Jay, <laughs> this would be mortifying. <laughs> so it's got it's got to be this. I don't care what it's going to be. Horny I'm not vi- saying I wouldn't play this if it was available to me, but I would not. Purchase I think I'd rather my kid come home with a broccoli haircut than with one of these. <laughs> <Yeah. hairs. laughs> uh, so one for the horny game, KB. Yeah, being an adult man, like going in to buy the big boob anime like volleyball <laughs> video game from the local sophomore at your rental place. That's <laughs> Is it worse to rent the game? From like, yes. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta bring. I just it need to get a couple nuts. I want to make sure I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Do not ever rent. Do you guys have you the dominance used... video game left? Yeah, <laughs> Bu- buying a used dead or alive copy is one of the more depraved <laughs> things you can do. <laughs> Stuck together. Yeah, just... Nick. I uh, bought one on like Xbox Arcade once, like a dating sim, because I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, and sure. I did, and. Uh, me and my roommate were going to like do like a drinking game to it in Columbus, and I forgot to turn off like who can see me playing games oh, on no. Xbox Live. <laughs> um, and that's that's horrible too. Uh, it's got to be horny video games. Horny video games, Robbie. Horny video games, very easily. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be tough to top. I mean, it's a lot worse than buying porn. You think um, Meek Phil has bought a horny video game? Oh my yes. god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be harder to find a horny video game he hasn't bought. Yeah. <laughs> he's the first person I thought of because he's like an emulator guy too. He's like oh, that's he's right. like, Oh yeah, I own like every PS2 game on my computer. We should get him in. <laughs> that's your Meek Phil impression? Text him. Because <laughs> he's here. Yeah. He's up here. Uh, get his ass in here. Uh Pat. It's just so hard for me to imagine buying a horny video game. Mm. That it's like tough to put myself in the put like to feel that embarrassment, but I can feel the embarrassment of like walking like to the bodega and getting a fucking plunger, and then like walk, yeah. walking by people like out to eat in the West Village, and I just have a, a dump plunger in my hand, <laughs> walking by. I think it's much more realistic, so I'm gonna mm. go with the plunger. That's fair. Your horny video game is just grinder. Just get on there, play. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, real. <laughs> it's real life. Uh, next up, as the horny video game moves on, is the number seven versus the ten. We'll say seven seed is a kid's toy slash collectibles. Uh, in my mind, it was like... Two very different things in my mind. That's fair. Oh, okay. here he is. Here's perfect, me. Come perfect here. timing. Here, take Robbie's mic. Wait, uh, no, you, should do, you should just read him the names of the things yeah. and see if he knows what they are. Okay, just tell us uh, tell us if you recognize what we're saying, what okay. we're talking about. Oh, I should, cat- be, I should be what, doing this. What yeah, category, of, what category of things are these? Uh, okay, so first is, let's go for a more reasonable one. Um, Dead or Alive Extreme 3. I have an idea where this is going. What is it? That's a very adult video game. <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah, okay. That, that, that's so you thing. play these? I haven't played it, but I've seen it. How, if you know that off the rip, you've absolutely because, played it. I mean, I follow video games a lot. I know, like... The... Leisure Suit Larry? Okay, I know that one. Yeah, it's all funny. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever played Leisure Suit Larry? I've no, I've not played either of these two games. I've just watched YouTube videos on them. Watch it. Oh, that might be even worse. Oh, that's oh. way worse. You're, You're watching, watching a playthrough. Play? No. You watched a playthrough. You're watching somebody alive. jerk off Why as they play these video games. 
<laughs> no, I, I've not done that. I oh, we can't it. hear them. I, yeah, I can't yeah. hear Nick. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, said, "Why would you do that? Like it's a streamer." Yeah. You watch somebody else get fucked. No, you. I fall. What playing somebody else get I fucked? I fall down <laughs> rabbit hole of recommended. Yeah, I mean, we. I think. Yeah, we're, no, we're that, dead on. We're yeah, dead that on. Was dead on. Yeah. Thank you, Meek. Guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That was it. I mean, Watanabe creators. <laughs> like you just want to know your own career. We just wanted to make sure you were a horn dog. Yeah. I know. Did any of the Japanese ones make sense? Was that or is that not is that not up your bag? Uh, lewdness collection or the dominance collection? Okay, that one I haven't heard of. Okay, uh, what's your favorite uh, demographic of women? What favorite <laughs> nationality? Beautiful. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Smart oh, answer. Wow. Smart nice. answer. I think yeah. it's fine. <laughs> what white? What did he say? He, he wants you to cut out the white. Oh, whatever. Uh, so, uh, kids' toys slash collectibles. In my mind, I was thinking more like Legos because I like putting together Legos. Love it. I wouldn't want someone to catch me with like a Lego that I couldn't explain away in my hands. I could always explain one away, but... Keep uh, <laughs> and that's going up against the number 10 seed, another kind of poopish one. Uh, preparation H. That's a tough one to get caught with. Then you what is get... that? Hemorrhoids. No. Hemor preparation H, H, H works great oh. for eye bags. Does oh, it? Does, does it? it? Yeah, oh yeah. What? Really? Oh yeah. It all it does is shrink tissue. Ooh. Really? Huh. Oh yeah. But it's, they know you got a hurting butthole. Yeah, I'm a hemorrhoid guy, so I'm, you, a, I'm a familiar. Me too, yeah. Fox. Yeah, it's yeah. tough. Uh, so, Pat, which one? Prep H or uh, kids' toys slash collectibles? It just depends on, like, what kind of toy. Because The if, most embarrassing kind you can think of. And you're just walking into, like, a brick-and-mortar store as an adult buying a kid's toy. Yeah. I mean, I honestly bet the assumption would be he's buying that for a kid. Yeah, the yeah. assumption. Yeah. But again, we, like we said before, in these scenarios, you can't explain it away. I don't think you'd have to explain it. I think the assumption I agree. would that's be that's for a kid. I agree. Yeah, I think just based on that, it's got to be the preparation H. One for the prep H, Tommy? Yeah. I mean, if you can use it as eye cream. <laughs> Does that even work, or are you just trying to get us to put preparation no, H I on our face? You. promise you. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to research that. Uh, okay. I guess tonight. I think preparation H is worked. I do. I think if you're buying it towards a guy, he's buying that for his little brother, cousin, nephew, or something. Like. Yeah, the C prep H in there, like you're buying it for your hurting butthole. Right. So I'll go with that. I think it's Prep H, and as a hemorrhoid guy, I'm excited to one day have kids so I can use the toy excuse on the Prep H and say it's just for my it's kids. just for the kids. <laughs> yeah. Nick? I went to Build-A-Bear to get the Squirtle Build-A-Bear, and that was one of the harder <laughs> things I had to do. Because <laughs> oh. they still make you make the wish on the heart. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't stuff it for me. Yeah, oh. They wouldn't. I didn't need the heart. Uh, that was it. Yeah, that's buying it. Buying it. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Trust me. One for the toy, KB. Uh, long time prep age buyer here. There is always a two second window, regardless of how insignificant the cashier is to your life, that you feel great shame. Yep. But I, you know, if I had to buy a Squirtle from Build a Bear, that would be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so the, I'll go to the worst children's toy you could buy. Children's toy, uh, Che. I buy kids' toys. I don't. I don't feel shame. I'll, I'll do it by myself. But I'll, obviously, they're for not me. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm at that stage where I'm, I'm not feeling shame about those things. The prep age. Yeah, you probably just don't want people knowing stuff about the hardness of your cock or your butthole. So I'm gonna go the, the hardness of yourself, your butthole. Yeah. Yeah. He, he slipped cock that's right the under the, the rug. The Viagra <laughs> stuff. <laughs> The hardness of your so asshole. The hardness of Dude, your... Uh, that's what I hate about hemorrhoids. Make your butthole so hard. Yeah. Uh, every <laughs> the time. The hardness of your yeah. cock or your... The, the He's pain of your butthole. Bringing the prep to the cashier being like, sorry, my cock is so hard. <laughs> 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 <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get this thing down. <laughs> it's my cock in my eyes, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, so the preparation age is going to move on. Uh, next up is the two versus the 15 seed. The 15 seed is, uh, let's say, feminine products. Um, so if you have to, buy, if you've ever had to buy like you know, pads, uh, tampons, whatever that sort of shit for a girl, or if for girls, if your girls are listening, all that stuff too. I'm not sure how you feel about that. Uh, going up against the number two seed, uh, a combo one that comes sort of from the brain of Glenny Balls as he was here and we were talking about it before. Um, getting caught buying a hooker or OnlyFans <laughs> subscriptions. Yeah. So a combo. Yeah. How did we not? Yeah. The, how did we not have condoms anywhere on this list? The hooker one was. Uh, I think we. Are they? I think it was on I the chain, them. wasn't it? 
was it? I don't even remember. We could sw- let's, you know what? Aaron. Because this is such a mammoth matchup for feminine, fuck feminine products. Let's pick condom there. So condom. I, I think that's a better swap. Because yeah. Because if you're buying like a tampon, it's like, oh, that guy's that guy's fucking. He's got a girl. Not actively, mm. but he's got a girlfriend or, you know, a girl in his life. I mean, that's the same. Yeah. A condom is literally too fuck. Yes. True. <laughs> but for for some reason, I think condoms are more embarrassing than I, tampons. I agree. So the condoms versus uh, hooker, which I, th- I just, I'm hoping none of us has bought them before. How do you even get caught buying a hooker? I, it ha- it's happened to uh, Richard Hugh Grant. Always, Hugh Grant. Like, uh, always Hugh Grant. by the cops. Hugh yeah. Grant. Well, I was going to say, yeah, I mean, sure, that, the worst case scenario if it's by like but, a police officer. Yeah. yeah. That but, or like Gene Simmons on Gene no, Simmons' I Family think it'd Jewels. It would be more embarrassing yes. if like, one of your boys <laughs> just saw yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. If your yeah. boys caught like, you. Hey, was that a whore? <laughs> <laughs> um, the slap chop guy, Vince. Yes. Got in trouble because the he was making out with a hooker and she bit his tongue. Yeah, so that was one of her rules. No, Hook, hooker should be legal. How's that not legal? In some places, well, it's, 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 it's very legal to I make out with a hooker. Yeah, it's weird. No, 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 no. It's, it's weird. It's rules. weird. Oh, yeah. gotcha. I, I thought that was a legal. Like, I think no, no, it's no. funny to buy a hooker. Like, I have a ton of friends who have bought hookers, and I just always think it's kind of to, hilarious. To fuck? Or... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Make it sure. I'm not taking them out to dinner. Uh, fuck it. Uh, have you ever seen Pretty Woman? <laughs> huh? You ever seen Pretty Woman? It happens. Yeah. I, I don't. I guess. But I don't. That's like, how would. <laughs> not that I'm. How would you go about buying a hooker? If, well, they'll go to places. I don't know. I don't want to out any uh, identities no. here, but they'll uh, go to like. When they're in, in like other country, it's not like they're going to Queens to get a hooker. Yeah. They'll be in like Panama on vacation, and they'll get like five or six hookers and like have them oh, all well, come yeah, over. That's different. Vegas, yeah. they come up to you apparently. Yeah, that's I right. say apparently. They give you the cards. To me. They give you the cards. Well, well, people give you cards for like you could call this number for a hooker. For a hooker, yeah. yeah, yeah, escort, escorts and stuff like that. But I've even had friends in. Are they legal in Vegas? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wait, it Tommy, is? you're arguing they should be legal. Yeah, everywhere. Across. Yeah. Why not? You Why not? Why not? You want to like? What's the harm? I, in I that? think it's just dangerous all around. Yeah, I think it'd be less dangerous, especially if it for was, the hook. I think it'd be less dangerous if it was legal. Yeah, if there was some like regulation to Clean it. Instead it up, of, they got to get like, instead of working for like yeah, a shady man. pimp, they could like work for like a company and get taxed. There American you go. revenue, right there. Liberal Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, liberal Tommy added again. Uh, so we're gonna stop, <laughs> <laughs> and we're combining again. Uh, only f- being caught with OnlyFans subscriptions, I guess, on top of that too, because that's a little bit more relatable than the hooker thing, I think. Uh, so Che, we'll start with more that. More embarrassing. What, what's that? OnlyFans might be more embarrassing than a hooker. You, I think <laughs> yeah, you're a hooker, you're fucking. Yeah. So we'll say OnlyFans. Yeah, I think you're, you're actually dead on with that. Uh, so hooker slash OnlyFans subscriptions versus condoms, Che. I think it's got to be hooker just because if you're i'm just trying to imagine a situation where this is happening and i have seen people be up like if you're at the tables late night in vegas like half the floor is hookers and they're coming up to people with big sets of chips or like have a lot of money on the chips table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. did not think that's what the next word would be <laughs> big big sets of chips <laughs> yeah. well that, that obviously have a lot of money out and um it's fairly casual, but like, there's no situation, especially if with your friends, like, you can just be like, "All right, guys, I'll see you later," and it's like you're very obviously that would be very uncomfortable. Um, so I, I'd have to say, that. If I think your I, friends, like, I'll see you later. I'm going to fuck this hooker. That'd be uncomfortable. Dude, I think they'd like, be like, "Yeah, uh, do yeah. you? Yeah, yeah." Uh, I don't know, because then I think it reveals like, okay, you're this type of guy, and maybe they're not. Like, I don't know. I, I think that would be if I was out with my boys and one of my uh, Buddy's very late, and I got approached by hookers. Like, all right, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, that would be <laughs> that would be bizarre. But is that, that would embarrassing? Crack me up. If yeah, that, I think you guys that was out. Like, like, oh, I think absolutely. that's so. I think funny. having to pay for sex is embarrassing. I agree. But not having. But it's like not like bit. he has to. He's yeah. It's like oh, fuck this hooker. I, I'm gonna yeah. go fuck the hooker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whale. Like yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Nah. I, I, it would depend on the group of friends that I'm with. That's fair. Florida yeah. Pussy Patrol, those are hooker fuckers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> High school friends, I think maybe a little more judgment. Yeah, yeah, wait, a Florida Pussy Patrol. If Spider, if I'm in a casino with oh, him, and he's like, going to fuck this hooker, I'd be like, fuck that, yeah. I'm high five, and I'm like, that's yeah, hysterical. Fuck yeah, Spider. But I think it's more like point, cringe Because all my friends that I'd be hanging out with are like, you know, late 30s, like married guys. Mm. Yeah, so that would be, that'd like be a, weird. That would make them like a bad human. Just imagine if like one of you got caught in a sting for, uh, as being having <laughs> fucked a hooker and like that got on the news or something and the whole office found out like hey KB's fucking hookers well that's every night that, that might that's, be good for your career here that's something yeah. else happening yeah, afterwards maybe. we're talking yeah. about just the I mean yeah it's literally this doesn't include the scandal afterwards yeah. well no but that's I'm just saying getting caught just a different type of getting caught yeah. than just one person seeing it happen like 
just being caught as and being known as a hooker fucker. But we're not get we're the, the argument isn't about getting <laughs> caught. It's just <laughs> no. It's the thing I'd be more embarrassed of getting caught. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's like a bit. And again, we're adding. We didn't even approach the OnlyFans angle of this either, but because that is a whole other. Like, if you if it was found out that you're like a pay pig on OnlyFans, yeah, I have brutal. pay pigs on OnlyFans. Yeah, see, and yeah. You, I'm sure they would never want to get caught. You little sluts, I see you right now watching me. Like they pay to get insulted <laughs> yeah. by oh. women. Yeah, that's that's. Gross. Yeah, you little. Let's send my money into my thing. <laughs> oh, Come on, I just made five hundred so bucks. Lucky. I just made five hundred oh. bucks. Uh, but yeah, think about that way. Like it's it's it's. There's people that are doing very depraved. If you're paying shit. to get insulted by Pat on, on all Dude, that there. Let me, fellas. There's nothing embarrassing about that <laughs> at all. No, they want you to say that it is embarrassing. That's the isn't that yeah. the idea? Oh, oh yeah. uh, that's more like de- that's more like degradation play. Okay, all right. all right. Listen, I'm not here to split hairs, <laughs> but yeah, it's something. Uh, KB. Uh, paying for pussy come on mm-hmm. <laughs> not even a question uh nick yep paying for pussy yeah paying i think pussy. condoms is kind of i don't know i mean i condoms guess condoms is embarrassing too, i was gonna say i guess i've like never the- i've never felt the shame of of buying the hooker i feel the shame of buying condoms yeah. it is like and again it, it does prove like oh this guy's going to fuck but it's just embarrassing there's i remember like one of the first times i bought condoms i was like i don't know maybe it was 20 or something and like I was like, oh, take a thing of con, like it was like a behind thing? the <laughs> behind the whatever cash register. They'll like, take a pack of condoms, and the guy kind of looked at me and he goes, Magnum with like a scoff, like, a laugh. <laughs> like knowing there was no way. Yeah. And I I was like, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> like the, the regular size. But I wish in that moment I was like, yeah, actually. And then he was mm. like, oh, and I would have had to go to a different store to buy regular size. You <laughs> just like prove it. I'll take yeah. them to you for free. If you you have, fill this out. You have to fuck the guy to prove it. Yeah. The, sure. the most embarrassing moment of my life was my mom bought me condoms. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! What? Yeah. I was a freshman in high school. I had recently started dating a senior, and it really freshman? made my mom Whoa. dating a senior. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bob Fox. Yeah. So it made my mom like worried that like you were being taken advantage of I by guess, an adult by woman as a child. Senior. And she walked into my room with a plastic bag, and I could see through the plastic bag that she was. She bought me like a thirty-six pack. Oh, yeah. insane, <laughs> insane assumption. But I could see the Trojan logo right away, and I just snatched the bag out of her hand, and I was like, "I know what this is. Let's not have a talk about it." And she was like, "Let's not." And she just walked out of my room. But by senior, you see her in high you, school, right? You end up. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. I just want to make sure not you end up using citizen. those. Yeah, not not on that girl, but yeah, eventually. <laughs> eventually. That's sick. Uh, so that's one for Tommy for condoms? Yeah, I'll go condoms. Pat? I don't know. It's. I think naturally I want to say hooker, but there's, again, there's like two different kinds of like the hooker buying process. There's one where it's an act of desperation, and that is incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> like if you need to fuck, so you buy a hooker. Like Mantis. Yeah. Didn't Mantis do that? He like yeah. bought a hooker yeah, yeah. to lose he paid his paid three grand for a blowjob with a condom on. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I think it might have been eight grand, grand too. I'd oh, pay three might, grand oh. to not get a blowjob. <laughs> 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 but then there's then there's the bit. Like it's a very funny yeah, bit. But you can't say it's a bit when you're fucking this stranger. Yeah, but it's like money. It's can, not a bit. Like I've had friends who've like done it as a bit. But Basically. no, but if, my, if any of my friends did it once, that's not something you do as a bit. That sticks with you. You, you, you might play it off as a bit, but that's you I think wanting. Anything can be a bit. I, I think if you fuck a hooker, you're now the hooker fucker. Like that. If you want to say that's your bit, sure. But but I think you're kind of just a piece the... of shit if you fuck a hooker, honestly. It depends on the per- person. Yeah. Too. Yeah, very true. Yes. Very true. But it if does. it's someone that like, you you aren't known as a depraved person, again, if it, I had a it's like if you homie, fuck. I wouldn't judge him. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. If someone was bent, yeah, <laughs> I'm not judging him. But I'm gonna go hooker. All right, but no, hooker's gonna move on. Um, but I, I yeah, like, I'm trying to think like if I I'm trying to think of who if I found out like Robbie bought a hooker. Be like, oh, I yeah, know, I exactly. Like, if I read out like Big Ev bought a hooker, be like, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. It totally depends. Oh, I would be the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of right. It's a slap <laughs> in the face for you. If your friends are okay with you buying a hooker, they think you're gross. Yeah. No, no, that's not at all. I'd be like, like Big Ev, like he's just got that persona to him. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. like he's, he's like the double like, vodka don. Right, right. The double vodka don should be able to get hooker. This is a photo yeah. that my friend just double sent me with a hooker. Don, yeah. A friend just sent you a picture of a no, hooker? No, but this is like a week ago. This Obviously. is him overseas. No, overseas? With a hooker on his... Th- there's oh, nothing embarrassing right. By the about way, that. you guys can't oh, see this. Uh, I can't geez. show this. kind of gross. It's like, a, it's like a six nice foot tits. tall I mean, yeah, I'd probably blonde with giant boobs. So there Tommy's already on board. 
Yeah, don't yeah, finish over to them. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to move on. Before we get to the next half, let's talk for the last fact. Uh, it's <laughs> kind of gross. <laughs> Factor. Eating better is easy with Factor's easily de- uh, delicious, ready to eat meals. Uh, every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just under two minutes. You have over 35 different options to choose from each week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. So, what are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals. If two minute meals that feel fa- and you could feel fast with factories, uh, factors, restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat up and eat whenever you are. Uh, we talk about factor all the time. It's, it's legitimately my, fav- my favorite meal service. I absolutely love them. Legit, like they're saying in the ad, two minutes and it's like you just had a meal cooked right in front of you. It's incredible. Uh, and we always talk about the, soup, the smoothies. Smoothies. I don't know how it works. The science behind how they stay that good, that fresh, that long. They blend fruit, Ken Jack. Oh, I mean that the freshness value of it. It just it literally and with the food too, but it's crazy. Uh, no prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup are needed. Uh, flexible for your schedule. Get as much as you little, uh, much or as little as you need by choosing your meals each week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. Head to factormeals.com/lcb50 and use code LCB50 to get 50% off, which is a crazy good deal. Uh, uh, that's L- C- that's code LCB50 at factormeals.com slash LCB50 to get 50% off. All right, playoffs. First up, Pokemon cards versus an umbrella when it's raining out. Pat. Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards, no question? Yep. <laughs> really? If it rains, it rains. You have a choice whether or not you buy Pokemon cards. Okay, fair. Tommy? I'm going to go with the umbrella. I don't know why. There's something about If you're wet. If you're wet and it's raining and you're buying an umbrella, it's, a, it's like an admission of defeat. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, the rain fucking got me. I tried yeah. I tried to beat it and I said <laughs> I can't do it anymore and I'm buying this fucking umbrella. Yeah, I'm a no umbrella guy. I gotta go umbrella as well. I think like I said before, I think people would look at me and be like, Yeah, it's a guy that buys Pokemon cards. Fair. Nick? Yeah, it's umbrella. Another for umbrella, three to one right now, KB? Yeah. Yep. Damn. Umbrella, damn I'm gonna say. Okay, uh, is it a uh, sweep J? Uh well, I I well not Pokemon, that. but uh yeah, umbrella. The rain yeah. just making you tap out is pretty humiliating yeah imagine uh, thinking you're tougher than the rain tougher than the yeah. rain. <laughs> fucking rain and i do think it's a big difference like if you buy it before the rain i think it's okay i think you're saying that because you just bought one before the rain well that was not even close to rain but i'm saying like if even if it's like cloudy it's like it's about to rain get an umbrella i think it's the admission of defeat it's like the i just got wet and i need this fucking umbrella leaving now. the house with one without it being raining is like uh, that's i think that's a distinguished move Wait, I think that's even classy. That's preparation. Uh, that's mm-hmm. it. Walking around Asian. in dry yeah, weather that's, with that's a big Asian thing. Yeah, from the sun. Yeah, is I'm it just against carrying oh, yeah. umbrella love umbrellas? But you have like the decorative. You the personally parasol. have. No, I, just, I don't decorative. think he means like a parasol. You mean like a legit umbrella, right? There's the two kinds. There's yeah. the yeah, the fancy one, but then there are also people that just like straight up black rain umbrellas. Yeah, yeah and then the paper fan. Yep. Oh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Uh, Nick. Uh, I don't know why. I just... Dude, it's, up, it's, it's, five, it's five million degrees in this room, and I'm like, it's it is so hot. So I'm losing outrage. I'm starting to lose my ability to think. It's the lights crazy. are on like full it's blast. 500 degrees in here. Um, the goggle office just got a new AC unit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure you did. You probably have an extra backup one too. Uh, so next to matchup is the sex toy versus the anything for dummies book. Uh, start with sex say. toys for dummies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything for dummies. Anything for dummies. KB. Dude, b- basketball for dummies, <laughs> especially. Very specifically, basketball for dummies. Nick, I want to buy that and like bring it to a Bulls game. <laughs> <laughs> Read it while you're watching. Just, just like fun. take notes, highlight shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's for dummies. Three for dummies, especially now that you can just go to a Google on yeah. your phone. Yeah, you can watch this. I think the very clear distinguisher is one of those is fucking. One is clearly not fucking. It's the mm. Four Dummies book. Yeah. Four Dummies is going to win. But Well said. Yep. Another Four Dummies. I agree. Four Dummies. So Four Dummies versus Umbrella when it's dry out. Pat. Four Dummies. Four Dummies. Tommy. Yeah, I got to go Four Dummies. Another Four Dummies. I'm going with four, four Dummies as well. Preparing for the rain for Dummies. <laughs> no, I mean, rain, umbrellas rain for, for Dummies. dummies. Yeah. <laughs> Nick. This could be the championship for me, I think, but it's it's Four Dummies. Four dummies, KB. Yep. Like yep. reading that book to completion, like. Ah. Imagine your your friend being like, "I just book? finished yeah. this good book." Yeah. Like, w- what was the name of it? Are you more dumb the more dummies. the more bookmarked your four dummies book is? Yes. Like you're dog eared like all over the place on your four dummies book. Where you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are the dummy. 
Jay. Like telling a girl on a date. Yeah, I've been reading a lot recently. Basketball yeah. for dummies, yeah. autism for dummies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My book club is just for uh, dummies. What like kind you meet of books every week. <laughs> uh, for dummies. Another for dummies, clean sweep. Uh, on the other side, uh, horny video games versus extremely unhealthy food. I want, them, I want them to make four dummies into like movies. I want the movie adaptation. <laughs> the book was better. <laughs> <laughs> they deviated too much from the book. <laughs> Football for dummies is just radio. Yeah. <laughs> Jay. Um, sorry, horny video games versus what? Uh, very unhealthy food, large quantity order. Horny video games. Horny video game, KB. First the four dummies. No, no. Uh, versus, first is uh, uh, quantity of food. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the video games. Horny video games. Nick? Uh, horny video games. That's bad. It's real bad. I think this might be the most like lopsided one of the bracket, mm. just because horny video games. Horny video games bad. is so bad. Yeah. So bad. Horny. That's It's going to be... I think I know what this championship's going to be. It That's might be, be yeah. a tough one. Yeah. So horny video games, Pat, I'm assuming you too. Yeah, it's horny video games, definitely. That's so because embarrassing. Because it's like you're horny, you can't get a woman, and but you don't want to stop gaming. For yeah. <laughs> That's so bad. That's the worst position to be in. Uh, I feel like... I pause my game to jerk off? <laughs> no. Uh, this one, I feel like we don't even need to vote. Hookers slash OnlyFans versus Preparation H. Should we just move hookers yep. straight yeah. on? Yeah. So hookers versus horny video games to go into oh. the finals. I mean, when you phrase it this way, horny video games is so much worse. So yeah. much worse. <laughs> <laughs> one, at least you're fucking. Mm. It's essentially real That's life fucking all of these come down fucking. to. It's like, ah, at least one, you're fucking. Like, mm -hmm. right. half just, of the bracket today has been, ah, at least But also, like, what are you fucking in this, this case, Aside too? Aside from Pat... And Ken Jack, I think I would think very differently of you guys if I knew you got bought a hooker. Yeah. Why? Why Ken Jack differently? Tommy, it would make sense. Pat's Pat's uh, gay. Yep. And uh, Ken Jack is sex pest. Would never, never <laughs> yep. even. Uh, I agree. I, th I think. think of I think me and Robbie. I think that. I think that. I think it's I'd be less people. shocked by Tommy. Uh -huh. I'd Thank be you guys. Way Thank really you shocked too. by Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> I think. The, who would you be the least? Who would you be the least shocked by to buy a hooker in this room? You. Yeah. Not a hooker? Definitely not you. Count, you. Definitely yeah. you, Pat. No, you would, would fuck not count me. Not as a bit. No. Probably. Not counting me. Who else? Well, that's just... Okay. In this room, it would be Tommy for me. The least shocked? I think KB for me. Oh. Least? Yeah, least, least shocked. Least. To, I he's just, he's a guy. He's a guy that does not love social interaction. Would yeah, pile. but yeah. I, could oh, see, yeah. I could see KB being like sneaky, like disappearing for a while, like on a night yes. out and like... Going to buy and he does the Leo. He puts headphones oh, in. For yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you have headphones on the entire exchange? Yes. And that's like your rule, don't talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Pat, hookers versus uh, horny video games. Horny video games are more embarrassing, I think. Horny video games? It's, wait, I mean, it's one is like you're kind of buying a virtual hooker. Yeah. <laughs> At I least get the that. fucking hooker. Horny video games were never something I thought about before today. I will now think of horny video games in my day-to-day -day life as that is, like, the creepiest person in society. It's the worst thing in the world. <laughs> it's yeah. me, Phil. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Nick? I'm going hookers here. Mm, one for hookers. It's illegal. <laughs> Depending on where Not you are, in Nevada, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, KB? I, do, I would be catastrophically embarrassed for the entirety of the exchange and the duration of us being together. So the, I'd make her like me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's how you would you pay a hooker to watch your videos. Like, <laughs> yeah, watch Tommy, Tommy no, would forget end, to fuck because he'd yeah. be showing her. Yeah. Like, at the end of it, I'd be like, "So you liked that? You like me enough where I don't have to pay for it, right?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, so right now we're three to two in favor of the horny video games over hookers. Che, this is hard because I think, like to Nick's point, this would change my perception of you but at the same time if i like ken jack if i saw like you get a hooker i'd be like well, that's fucking weird yeah mm -hmm. and like you're kind of a creep but then at the same time if i walked into your apartment and i saw the horny video game i'd be like oh i would think less of ken jack with the horny but video I yeah I would, I, would too. But I, would, I would also <laughs> kind of like expect you to have that horny video game so i'm actually gonna say hooker Hooker. Well, well, it's not just Ken Jack. Yeah, why is that me? <laughs> that was a low-key insult. <laughs> just on me. Um, all right, so then I have to tie break. And I'll say hooker because I think yeah. that the video game is depraved. Yeah. I would think way – it, it, but it's also kind of hard because, like, it's like you're saying with the Big F thing. 
Like if I if it can't, if it got out that Big Ed was fucking hookers every night, I'd be like, it's kind of fucking cool. Yeah. But like if it was all business, Pete was There's fucking no, no, every but night. Every, oh. But I would <laughs> you rather could spin ugh. the video game into a bit. Yeah. I I would rather AVP be fucking hookers every night than have a than have a horny video game. There's <laughs> nothing. I think there's actually nothing in society that I would look upon someone less than playing a horny video game. Yeah. Like I'm yeah, with you. If, what would you fucking... think about it this way? What would you rather you find your dad? Have oh, oh. Hooker. 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 Yeah, yeah. hooker, all right, you hooker. guys are swaying me. Holy shit. <laughs> hooker. Hooker. Yeah, I, would, I, I would rather my dad a hooker. Yeah, yeah, e- yeah easily. You'd, you'd rather catch your dad with like only fan subscriptions oh and God, fucking yes. hookers every night than than playing a yes. fucking like hentai porn. And, and, yeah. Yeah. Jerking off yeah. to a human being. Yeah. 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 Much rather. Yeah, <laughs> they were all satisfied with hooker. Any male relative. Yeah. 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 Wait, so are you switching, Gamey? They all switched. I'm pretty yeah. sure. I yeah. think the process is more embarrassing for the hooker, but having had done one or the other, I think the horny video game, like beating the beating it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got every if, if I caught my dad playing a horny video game and he was like really good at it, like getting combos <laughs> yeah. and shit. Yeah. <laughs> getting a DP combo. Yeah. <laughs> he just speed runs. Speed power running. power stroke <laughs> <laughs> like records yeah looking up but, cheat codes yeah. <laughs> so I see my dad's initials on the end screen that's yeah. a high score oh yeah. you got the tramp like stamp on his Mitchell. initials as a tramp stamp that's a double score <laughs> it's like the Billy Mitchell of Dead or Alive or whatever <laughs> um, okay so horny video games versus uh, <laughs> this is what a fucking ridiculous one the four dummies books which one do you think it would be more embarrassing to be caught by is this the finals this is the finals it's an embarrassing Horn. finals. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Uh, start with you, Pat. Horny video games. One for horny video games. Yeah. I, it. I can't. I'm like very much with Robbie. Like it. I'll never think of any. Like, I actually don't know if there's anything in the world I'd be less. Uh, like uh, I don't know if there's anything in the world that would make me look down on a person more than that. Then horny video games. Imagine getting caught with it. Like, you forget to put it away, and someone comes over to your house. Oh, you yeah. gotta just put it away. You, you're like, take that out of the system. And like, pops out i would yeah. rather find like a woman in this closet yeah <laughs> I would, like, a, de- a dead or like yeah. yeah uh robbie i'm going horny video games at least with the four dummies book like you put it on the counter and the cashier's like all right this person's special needs but they're trying to better yeah. themselves right like the horny video game is just like oh, they're making the blankets crusty at a, home a bookcase of four dummies books like someone like someone comes to your house and you shove them out but that's rather that than a case case of, yeah. of yeah horny video Great games point, Nick. going back through the the decades where like they didn't even have good graphics. <laughs> we've all been horny, and we've all like probably watched something that was not our typical tastes. The amount of pride that you have to swallow to buy a four dummies book. <laughs> You're admitting you don't know how to do it. You can't just look it up or watch a tutorial online. You're admitting so many faults in yourself by buying this thing. And then you're reading 300 pages that is ju- that's just sh- talking down to you. Mm-hmm. It's four dummies. Four Dummies, KB. I'm reading the Basketball Four Dummies reviews, and it's just a sad bunch. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is it? Bill you... said, well written, but would have preferred more b-ball info. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy said, not quite, and then did not answer the questions I had. What, <laughs> what the fuck did this guy <laughs> write about? 300 pages of... Of info, and they didn't know what they... She wanted who had the biggest cock in the NBA. In the NBA and it wasn't yeah, yeah. They forgot to put, like, pick and weave on there. Yeah. Oh, this guy pick gave it a five-star, as item as described. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Dude, when you say honestly, that... But, like, being able to do an internet review for a book for dump... <laughs> that, like, you could just Google that. I know. Yeah. I know. Dude, but I, I honestly think there is nothing more pathetic than playing a video game that's premise is just getting you horny. <laughs> one other one for the video game is going to win, but Che? Who amongst us hasn't played Tomb Raider and tried to do the yep. dude code when you were like in middle school? Mm. So, like, does that count as a horny? No, I think no, it does. It does. That, no. They made her tits like humongous. They but did. that's like a good game that you get horny while playing. <laughs> yeah, but you also so try. That's to... a different category. I think Tomb Raider is a horny video game. Mm, I agree. I don't think no. so. No, that's like in a different so. category. It's they different. make her intentionally very hot. It's, it's not dead or alive, game. busty women three. It's not. Yeah, but horniness game. isn't the point of the game. You yeah. wouldn't be embarrassed right. buying Tomb Raider. Yeah, no, correct. Never. I would a little bit. I don't, yeah. yeah. No, I don't Tomb know the Raider? game well enough. But. Laura Croft. I think so. The archaeologist. Mm. <laughs> not the triangle titties. That's good. That's good. Good callback. Uh, so Che. 
I'm going to go the Four Dummies books. Mm -hmm. Four Dummies, but the horny video game is going to win by four to two. Uh, the winner of the most embarrassing thing to be caught buying, horny video games, dead or alive, whatever the other one was, like big anime, busty bitches, never heard of before. Who submitted Major Larry? What? Who submitted? It was a Twitter one. Um, but yeah, Leisure Shoot Larry on there as well. Uh, but yeah, the winner of episode 120, Nasty Horny Video Games. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, Pat, Pat uh, for joining. Uh, we'll be back with a new episode next week. Yeah.